In this video we're going to be looking at the OCR GCSE history question What is the message of this cartoon? And it's a six point question. The period in, um, that we're going to be talking about is the causes of World War II. Here we can see Adolf Hitler uh, walking across some kind of bodies in order to get somewhere. We've got some writing down here. Um, the overall title of the cartoon is Stepping Stones to Glory. Um, other things to take into consideration which are central to try and figure out the message behind the cartoon is that it was published in July 1936 and you need to try and understand what was going on at that time in 1936. It's written by David Lowe and that can have some role in understanding the message behind the cartoon also. Of course by now you'll become increasingly familiar with the March Scheme. Um, if you directly answer the question without backing it up, you're going to get one or two marks out of six. Uh, you really need to be using the source details to back up the points that you're saying. So for example, you'll understand some of the symbols that are contained within it. You'll understand the writing and you'll make references to key aspects. Um, but to really push for the full marks for five or six, um, out of six, you'll need to include contextual knowledge, uh, meaning what was going on at the time. And these key details here of July 1936 is essential for that. So let's have a look in detail with regards to the contextual knowledge of what was going on at the time. Um, by 1933, Hitler had become Chancellor of Germany, and by 1934 onwards, he had become the dictator, meaning he had absolute power. Um, now, the cartoon in question um, was written in 1936, but by 1933 and even before that, Hitler had proclaimed that he wanted to destroy the terms of the Treaty of Versailles. Um, and this immediately led to Hitler of actually rebuilding these um, armed forces. Under the treaty itself, Germany was only allowed 100,000 troops. By 1935, Hitler had actually introduced conscription, meaning that he was beginning to increase the soldiers within his army above 100,000. The German Air Force was banned. However, Hitler actually created the Luftwaffe, the German Air Force, both strictly against the Treaty of Versailles. However, Britain and France, for various around, uh, reasons, um, didn't do anything to stop Hitler at this time. By 1936, however... Germany had actually put troops into the Rhineland here. Now, Germany is all of this area. Rhineland is an area of Germany, just as, I suppose, Yorkshire is a part of England. Uh, they are not two different countries. Rhineland is a part of Germany. But nevertheless, Germany was forbidden, was banned under the treaty of putting any soldiers into Rhineland. This was because under the treaty, France wanted to make sure that there was a clear buffer zone between the two countries so that they would get an early warning if any troops were on the move. But nevertheless, in 1936, Hitler marched his troops and stationed them in the Rhineland. Britain and France did nothing about it. They did not oppose Hitler. And this is where David Lowe comes in, the, the cartoonist. David Lowe is a very famous cartoonist from the period who created lots of different cartoons in opposition to Hitler. He strongly believed at the beginning that Hitler was aggressive and that he was trying to bully his way into destroying the Treaty of Versailles and to um, taking over countries in order to strengthen Germany. So it's really important that you do understand who David Lowe is because his cartoons appear uh, quite frequently within the exams. So in a moment it will be your turn to actually have a, an in-depth look at the cartoon itself and you'll need to press pause and you'll have some time in which to analyse the symbols contained within the cartoon. However, I'd just like to draw your attention to some of the key aspects of the cartoon. You may have this in front of you so you'll be, you'll be able to annotate it as you go along. Uh, here, of course, we have got a key figure. Uh, you will need to pay attention to uh, the, the body language, the facial expressions that this person is doing. Also, this is quite important here, um, how this person is walking. Here we have got, which you should be able to just make out, the words rearmament. And you've also got there, Rhineland. Right at the top here, it says, boss of the universe. You need to take into consideration what this actually means and what this path means. Of course, here at the, uh, the bottom, you've got the title, um, sorry, the key aspect of the cartoon. It says, spineless leaders of democracy 
and leaders is actually highlighted by some like uh, apostrophes. Um, so make sure that you consider all of this uh, within when you're looking at the cartoon, and please bear in mind the actual date um, because the that will be needed for your contextual knowledge. So press pause now. So let's have a look at the key details and symbols within the cartoon itself. And of course you should be um, drawn to the, the, uh, the key words right here at the bottom. This is clearly what you have here is like a path that the key character, and that is quite obvious, that Hitler is taken. Um, here David Lowe is trying to show that Hitler is at the beginning of a path. The beginning of that path is rearmament and it's also Rhineland. And you can see that right at the top, Hitler is actually marching to this idea of where it says boss of the universe. So Lowe is trying to put across the idea that Hitler is marching towards uh, trying to become the, of course, the boss of the universe could mean that he's trying to take over Europe or that he's trying to push forward um, Germany's aggressive um, policies throughout the world even. So, of course, here we have Hitler and his body language is clearly very important. You can see that he's almost making a hand gesture, which is obviously poking fun at the, at the so-called, um, here we have the so-called spineless leaders of democracy. Now, these leaders of democracy, I think, represents Britain and France. Um, and this gesture, he's almost Hitler's making fun of them um, because he's being allowed to get away with what he wants to get away with. Um, even here, the, even his um, the movement of his legs, this represents the so-called goose march. And this is what German soldiers actually did when they were on parade. They marched in that way. So I think this could represent um, the German soldiers. That Hitler's using soldiers in an aggressive way in which to potentially um, become the so-called boss of this universe. Um, but what we also have when you look a little bit, um, when you look at the piles of bodies, um, essentially at the bottom here, these could be the leaders of, uh, of the democratic countries like Britain and France. Um, they are actually alive at this point. Whereas you can see this area there, as time actually goes on, um, this could show those leaders as being dead. Or these, pe these bodies here could also represent um, the idea that the, there has been a war and that they, these are actually casualties. These are dead people. That as Hitler progresses on this path of becoming increasingly more aggressive and taking over uh, more and more countries is that people will die. So ultimately the overall message behind this I think is that Lowe is actually showing that Hitler is an aggressive person. He's wanting to become something um, that the Treaty of Versailles should have actually prevented um, but nevertheless Hitler is on a path um, that is attempting to start quite small, but is increasing his power um, to attempt to take over something much, lar much larger. The overall message is clear that it's a criticism of these leaders of democracy, which is Britain and France. And this criticism is shown as Hitler is simply making fun of them, making fun of them because they aren't doing anything to try to stop him. So, using the mark scheme to try and uh, answer this question of what is the message of this cartoon, you should, of course, be answering the question, which you should, right at the beginning, directly answer the question and state what the message of the cartoon. Then, of course, use source details to back your answer up. You need to use key points from the cartoon that we've actually discussed. Um, and make sure that you use at least two or three. You don't have to use all the different points within it, but you need to make sure that you back your answer up. And of course, the contextual knowledge uh, from the period is absolutely vital to make sure that you push on. And this is from the idea of July 1936. So you could actually mention the fact that by uh, 1933 onwards, that Hitler began to rearm Germany. This was against the Treaty of Versailles. And by 1936, Hitler had actually marched his troops into the Rhineland. So what has been happening is that Germany had been breaking the terms of the Treaty of Versailles. And that the leaders of Britain and France actually did nothing to stop Hitler. 